Then there was the infamous Los Angeles Mounted Rifles, the militia company that defected to join the Confederacy. The LA Mounted Rifles were a cavalry company organized as part of the 1st Brigade, 1st Division of California State Militia. Although their real goal from the very beginning was to get weapons from the state government and then escape across the desert to Texas to join the Confederate Army. They were joined in their odyssey across the desert by Albert Sidney Johnston and Louis Armistead, both of whom resigned their commissions in the U.S. Army to serve the Confederacy. It's worth noting that at least 80 men enlisted in this militia company and all of them were in on the escape plan, but only 32 of them showed up for the trek east. The rest got cold feet, since the Federal Army had caught wind of the plot and was actively patrolling Southern California, looking for defectors headed for Confederate territory. Interestingly, more than half the recruits of the LA Mounted Rifles were members of the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department who had abandoned their posts, including Sheriff Tomas Sanchez serving as one of the staff officers, and Under Sheriff Alonzo Ridley as the elected company commander. For the record, General Johnston did not join this renegade company as a private, as many like to claim, since he never signed any enlistment papers and he was trying to keep his departure east a secret. According to his whatever many times great grandson's investigation published in Confederate Veteran Magazine, Johnston tagged along with the other Southerners as a civilian and an advisor. He advised them not to attack the Federal garrison at Fort Yuma, since they had not yet enlisted in the Confederate Army, and they were absconding with stolen state property, the weapons. Therefore, attacking the garrison under these conditions would legally make them pirates, and liable to be hanged if caught. Therefore, they should sneak past the garrison instead. Along the journey, the party was lucky enough to see Thatcher's Comet in the California desert night sky, which must have been breathtaking. Ultimately, the 36 men who left California, that being 32 rebel militiamen, plus the two Armisteads, and Al Johnston, and his African-American bodyguard Randolph Hughes, did make it to Texas, where most of them served in the Confederate Army. Hughes stuck with Johnston until Johnston died at Shiloh, and then Hughes worked as a servant for other Confederate generals throughout the rest of the war. Because of mixed migration from different parts of the country, some of California's cities and counties were practically split down the middle between Unionists and rebel sympathizers. And the